My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in a recent video, we uh, replaced this trailer fender. This trailer was involved in an accident. And in today's video, we're going to be addressing the tires. So as I mentioned in a previous video, this side of the trailer was involved in an accident. It messed up the fender. We've already replaced that and fixed the light. Now we're on to the tires. So we did get some impact on the tires. We did get a flat tire. This is our spare. So we're going to put on uh, two new tires on the rear axle and then uh, rotate our tires around as well as we're going to address this hub that's leaking. Uh, we haven't addressed, uh, we haven't taken this to an alignment shop yet. So this possibly has a bent axle. And so we're going to take it to an alignment shop uh, here nearby and double check that and make sure that's good to go. Um, but the fact that this is leaking, we're going to go ahead and grease all these. I think that this grease has liquefied and that's the reason this is leaking here because there's not a gasket on this joint. So we're gonna do a little bit of maintenance, grease our hubs, and uh, rotate our tires, and balance those out. Okay, well that is nasty. I think I've greased these once in the last two years of ownership. Bearing sounds okay, there's a little bit of of wine to it. Oh, I might have some pitting into it. It doesn't seem like anything's out of adjustment. This one's the worst. This is the one that was leaking. So I think that, like I said, I think this is kind of just liquefied. So we're gonna go ahead and grease these up with new grease, cycle that through, and hopefully get these uh, back in serviceable condition. Okay, and for the grease, we'll be using this loop shuttle. Grease gun. Currently I've got it set up with the Molly MOS2 and we're going to be swapping that out for some grease that's better for high speed operation. Okay, so here we've got the G200 EP. Uh, this is more of a, um, this is more for your drive shafts, your high, you know, your PTOs and stuff like that applications the molly is better for your low our lower speed uh stuff like the skid steer so we usually use that for the excavators and i've got a separate video on this loop shuttle grease gun but basically you uh center that out let's screw this old one and screw this new guy pumps we should be ready to go okay we need some paper towels last time i did this i just stuck the grease gun on here pumped it through until we got stuff out and i was done since then i've learned that you're supposed to be spinning the tire while doing that so i'll be doing that this time so hopefully we get a better uh more even application and another thing i've done is i kind of just use a paper towel here to kind of pick up this grease and catch anything that comes off of here. Okay, I think we're there. This has started to solidify. This is still kind of a blue color. This is the color of the molly, um, which means that the, the grease tube here had some molly left in here, so we pushed it through. That pushed out, and down behind it is all of this uh, G200 grease. Um, I'm not con concerned on this axle. I'm not gonna continue to waste grease. We've pushed all that nasty, goopy crap out. This stuff was very liquefied. So I'm sure that's part of the reason this axle it looked like it was leaking as if it were an oil axle. Um, you know, here's a cute, good goopy section. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the rest of this and then we'll move on to the next tire. And uh, for that, we've used a third of this tube, maybe, um, maybe upwards of half. But yeah, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy results. And uh, we'll do that for the rest.
Okay, that one's pretty nasty too. I definitely think I was overdue for a, a grease change. Um, you can see there, maybe towards the end of the time lapse, that things started to solidify. It stopped dripping off and it kind of started clumping together and, and going out as one piece. Uh, but it was still very, very black, so it's pulling a lot of, uh, I don't know if that's dirt, debris, you know, what, wherever that blackness is coming from, that's getting pulled out with the grease. So this is certainly cleaning up things, getting things better condition. Um, this kingpin is loose. I don't, I'm not sure if that's intentional. I mean, that's torqued to the, the factory specs. Like I said, I don't feel a lot of sideways play. I thought that was the bearing grinding, but actually now that I'm thinking about it, that's actually probably the brakes. So we're probably in pretty good condition there. I'm just gonna clean this up and slap this cap back on. And uh, looking pretty good, pretty happy with it so far. Um, yeah, we still have, yeah, we're using probably a little bit more than a third of a tube on these. Uh, these grease caps are pretty nasty too, so I'm cleaning those out. Uh, trying to get these as clean as I can. Um, people say not to leave too much grease in here uh, because they can cause overheating if there's not enough of an air pocket in there. Um, so we're gonna clean as much as we can, get all this liquidified stuff out of here. So hopefully these, these don't leak on us. And then uh, we'll go to the car wash and power wash this off and get all this extra grease off the tires. <laughs> like I made a mess down here. We'll get all this stuff cleaned up and then it'll be looking like a new trailer, new fender, new newly greased hubs. We'll be back in business. And then after this, I found a piece of wood to go on here to keep me from dimpling it with my hammer that's obviously not intended. This is a framing hammer. So not the best hammer to be using on the metal here. So use the wood to soften our blow. Let some air out get that cap to sit in there nice I guess while we're here on the side we'll go ahead and remove this uh, wheel take our spare off and put one of the new wheels on here this is the ST Pro Trailer Master ST 205 75R15 Warning, failure to follow these instructions may result in wheel loss, which can result in injury or death before first road use torque wheel lug nuts to 90 to 120 foot pounds. That's quite the range. Retorque at 10, 25, and 50 miles and check periodically. They are covering their butts like nobody's business. Uh, we'll torque it down to 120, I guess. We'll get her get her sucked on there. So apparently these trailer wheels have issues. Uh, one thing they've done to help them is they got this little lip up here, so that kind of helps give it a place to put pressure down. Um, but for some reason, these trailer wheels are just more likely to come off. I think it's 120. We'll come back and uh, torque it down. Okay, there it is, they're looking all good. We got grease tubs here, we got new tires on the rear. On this other side, we got a brand new fender, looking sharp on there. Gonna need to go to the car wash, which we are definitely dirty. Got our, new, our light put back on, we got our fender put back on. We got a new wheel on the rear, and we're using the front one. And we got our both hubs greased up. We're gonna go to the car wash, and wash up all this gunk and grime. We're going to put this back in our spare after we wash off the gunk and grime on there. And then we've got this tire that had some debris in it, possibly from the accident, uh, causing it to go flat. So we're going to get to the tire shop and get that one fixed, uh, get that flat repaired. Well, there she is. We're all cleaned up. Even gave her a nice wash job, shined her up. New fenders, new wheel and tire. 
cleaned the hub, cleaned this hub, all the grease is gone. I used a degreaser and it looks like it took off the clear coat on this stuff. So that's kind of a bummer. But yeah, all the grease is gone, off and removed. A little bit of grime underneath here. But the uh, trailer, trailer looks nice and shiny. The new fender. Pretty happy with that. That should be a wrap on this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Please uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage.